Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The crews of the Indian Army's T-90 tank are set to equip themselves with an apparatus that is used while crossing rivers. The equipment will enable them to operate submerged tanks continuously for at least 45 minutes. The Indian Army has an annual requirement of 2,000 units of the equipment with effect from 2019 to 2020, while it will purchase a total of 6,628 units of such equipment. The RDO is expected to transfer the technology to the private sector for mass production, and it will be made available to the Indian Army by 2019. The Defense Minister has said today, that the deal to purchase S-400 systems from Russia has reached almost the final stage, and it may be signed before the visit of the Russian President to India next month. During the 2 plus 2 dialogue earlier this month, India told the US officials that it would go ahead with the deal, and have also sought waiver from the sanctions. Ahead of the Russian President Vladimir Putin's India visit next month, Russia has sought assurances from India, that its American procured equipment would not be used in a way that could compromise the capabilities of Russian-made systems already with the Indian military. The Russian concern comes in the wake of signing the Communications Compatibility and Security Agreement with the US. India has told Russia, that it is not an umbrella agreement, and it applies only to the equipment that it procures from the US. The agreement is platform specific, and does not binds India to anything. The Union Law Minister has rejected the demand of the Congress Party for a joint parliamentary committee probe into the Rafale fighter jet deal. He also said, that the inquiry cannot be set up to satisfy the ego of an ill-informed leader of the opposition party who repeats lies. He also said, that the former defense minister A.K. Antony has a lot to answer, as despite being in office for a period of eight years, he kept the Hindustan aeronautics in the waiting, and did nothing for the modernization and empowerment of Indian forces. His response came after Congress leaders met the controller and Auditor General, seeking a probe into the Rafale deal, and for leaving Hindustan Aeronautics out of the offset contract and transfer of technology. The modernization of airfield infrastructure project is intended to upgrade equipment at Indian Air Force bases, which was launched to improve the capability of Indian Air Force bases. Discussions are in progress for the second phase of the modernization of airfield infrastructure program in India. The phase 1 is already completed on 30 airfields, and phase 2 covers 37 bases, including 3 operated by the Indian Navy. Lockheed Martin has said, that the wings of the F-16 Block 70 will be produced in India, and the planned F-16 wing production in India is not dependent on the decision of the Indian government to select the F-16 for the Indian Air Force. It will take approximately two years for Tato Advanced Systems to demonstrate this manufacturing capability, and become a certified Lockheed Martin supplier. Ahead of the visit of President of Afghanistan to India, Afghanistan is seeking India's support for military hardware like helicopters. India has purchased four Mi-24 helicopters from Belarus, and has agreed to transfer it to Afghanistan. India has already completed the delivery of four Mi-25 helicopters, and three light utility helicopters to the Afghan Air Force in December 2016. The Defence Minister has said today, that the government was not considering any proposal to downsize the Indian Army. However, the government appointed committee had recommended the steps, and the Indian Army chief has been holding discussions with his top commanders. India will allot a new site in Andhra Pradesh to Russia, to build another atomic power project, as preliminary works for the last two units of the Kudankulam nuclear power plant has already started. India and Russia have agreed that at least 50% of the components will be manufactured in India. 
The Indian Navy chief will be on a five-day visit to the U.S., during which he will hold talks with the top American Navy officials. He is scheduled to present his views on defending the maritime commons, and the safeguarding of free and international order, and participate in panel discussion during the symposium. Oh, Mark,